How did you know James would be alone? Someone else was there. Is it your son? A woman under sea. It's been over a year since they pronounced our man Ghost as being dead. And it's also been about a year since they pronounced all the different spinoffs that are gonna be coming to power. And the first one we're gonna get a chance to see is Power Book 2 Ghost, starring Michael Rainey as that punk ass Tariq that need a butt whipping. They gave us a teaser trailer. The show drops in September. Let's break it down and see if there are any clues we can find to give us more about where the show is going. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Check me and the fellas out live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night where we review TV shows. We go through what's popular in the world. We also do stocks and real estate to help you guys make those life games. Let's watch the second half of the trailer and then we'll break it down frame by frame. I have to do anything to help my mother. Not true! Does that mean we have a deal? I need to know everything you know about Tyreek St. Patrick. First frame we see, ladies and gentlemen, we can only assume and know that that is Ghost being laid to rest. And there is no Tasha. She's in jail. So you just see Michael Rainey and his little sister as they're putting Ghost in the ground six feet under. And a lot of speculation is still going on that Ghost may come back and you know how these shows try to play us. He might come back as a ghost. He might come back as a daydream. But as a recurring cast member, ladies and gentlemen, that cat's out the bag and you're not gonna catch him. Then we see our girl Tamika. She's obviously back in this series and she's interrogating Tasha. She's wanting to know, Tasha, who else was in that room? Because it wasn't you, it was Tariq. And Tasha's like, hell no, I don't know what you're talking about. So be on the lookout, because Tamika, she was a pretty good character in power, and I look forward to see what she's gonna do in this new iteration. And then we see our man, punk ass Tariq, just running through, I guess, campus or wherever his school is located. Then from there, we see them putting Mrs. St. Patrick back into the van, taking her to upstate, wherever she's gonna be resting at. And then the new character reveal, we see Method Man, who is going to be playing Davis McLean, a lawyer kind of is going to fill the void of some of the lawyers we saw in the regular power. It looks like he's talking to Tamika about, in essence, probably defending Tasha. Then from there, we see that punk ass Cooper Sacks, his sad behind. He's still in this show, and he was just like a sad puppy in the last power. And I can only imagine he's gonna be more weaselly, more puppyish, and more sad in this coming episode, Chasing Behind Tariq. Then we get new characters, all right? Three new characters that are gonna be on this show is Everett Neal, Jabari Reynolds, and Drew. I think the guy driving the car is Drew, and I think the guy in the passenger side is Jabari Reynolds. What we don't know, who are they working for? Who are they working with? What is their agenda? I want you guys to take a good look at that coat that I'm gonna say this is Jabari Reynolds is wearing because it's gonna come back up in this trailer. And then we see Tariq running again. Man, Tariq, you running track? We don't see you running in this video twice. What, who you running from or what are you running to? It looks like you leaving the campus so you must got some urgent business somewhere. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Then we see Tariq talking to someone, trying to stroke up a deal, have no idea who he could be talking to. Maybe it's Drew or Jabari Reynolds. And then in the very next clip, that is that same jacket we seen Jabari Reynolds wearing when he was sitting in the van. And it looks like he's making some kind of a cash transaction with someone, because in the very next clip, you see someone putting money into a notebook, and I'm gonna have to assume that's Reek. So maybe Tariq done hooked up with these guys and is buying drugs, or in the next clip you see, it looks like Reek has a gun. So maybe Reek bought a gun from them and is trying to do his thing. We'll have to wait and find out. And then we see Reek walking away with that Tariq look on his face. I don't know where he's at. 
And this just looks like the vehicle that these two guys are driving in, Drew and Jabari Reynolds. They're going to be in what looks to be a Range Rover, doing their dirt, doing their thing, whatever it is they do. And then it looks like this is Reek putting the gun in his back pocket. That poor young wet behind his ear whippersnapper, poor fella. He better be careful he don't sit on that gun and it fire because I still don't have no faith in Tariq trying to be a gangster. And then we see Mrs. St. Patrick. She's not in her jumpsuit. She's all dressed up. Is this at the point where she's either out of jail or maybe this was an arraignment hearing for Bond, possibly? Um, I don't see them letting her out of jail on the very first episode, but I do see them letting her out of jail at some point in time. Next clip, we see Drew pointing a gun with a silencer on. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no evidence who he's about to shoot, who he's pointing at. That's probably a random somebody. Very next clip, we see Tariq saying, we're going to make this a deal. I don't know who that is. It's hard to make it out. They didn't want us to know. But the very next clip is very telling. This is Mary J. Blige's character on the show. And she's telling someone we need all the dirt and information we can get our hands on in regards to Tariq St. Patrick. The rumor on the street is she's talking to Effie. But I haven't seen anywhere in the casting where Effie is back on this show. More than likely, she's talking to a character named Deanna Tijada. Diana Tijada is probably who she's talking to. And I did a trailer review last year where she was in the cover with the girl I'm speaking about who's going to be in this show. That's who I think she's talking to, who's probably going to be trying to infiltrate Tariq. And then the very last clip... We see Reek standing above his new school like it's going to be his new empire. He's going to be trying to run the show. But we'll just have to see because we know Tariq is still young. He's still emotional. He's wet behind the ears. He don't know nothing. He hasn't decided whether or not he's a killer or not. I guess we can say he's a killer of his parents. But anybody else, I don't know. Um, so we'll have to see. I will say this. A lot of people are saying they're not going to watch the show because... They hate Michael Rainey's character, which that's a good way to get you to watch something. You either have to love it or hate it. Courtney Kemp has already said Michael Rainey is her favorite character. And so hopefully they will give him a good story to surround the narratives that he's going to do. I'm really interested in seeing where they go with this character because right now he's just really all over the place. He's going to have to grow up pretty quick and I'll be here to give you guys reviews as they come out episode by episode. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Check out our live show where we talk about all the world events. We do heavy stock. We go real estate to try to help you guys make those life gains Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.